Meridian Community College honoring its first generation students and faculty in a ceremony today. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, more than 30% of undergraduates were the first in their family to complete college last year. Twin States News' Jasmine Stevenson has more. MCC held a ceremony to honor their students and faculty who were the first to attend college in their families. Aurora Smith, a first generational student, wants to leave a legacy and is hoping that her little brother is inspired to also attend college. Mom is always talking about how when she's not here, she wants to leave stuff for us. So I figured even if I don't have kids in the future, I want to leave something for myself. I think I've really inspired my brother to take dual enrollment classes because he's doing, he's in the same classes that I was in. So I feel like maybe I'm making him want to want a future. Vice President of Student Engagement, Cedric Gathens, spoke at the ceremony and gave an emotional speech explaining how community colleges hold a special place for him. When I say I have a love and a passion for community colleges, I do because there, there is where my start it, it started officially, and I haven't left a college campus since then. A lot of people fail to realize how much of an impact community colleges have on the community. It provides students an opportunity to uh, experience things they probably would never experience if it wasn't for them having uh, a community college to go to, to attend classes, to get involved. Uh, those students who may be student athletes who's thinking, oh my God, you know, I was really good in high school, they may not be able to go on to a D1 or D2, but they can come here and have that experience. Uh, because a lot of us share the same experiences, the same stories we just don't talk about. MCC has now more than 150 students who are first generation. Jasmine Stevenson, Twin States News, Meridian.